problem. Hi, how are you? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Hello. Okay, hi, teacher. how are you? Nice to see you again. Yeah. It is a pleasure Thank to see you. Me too, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Okay, let me see, seven, we have seven. How do you feel today? How is the weather in your areas? Just tell me. Not to check. How is the weather? It is cool, hot, not raining today. No raining. Okay. Why you are not to check? Why you are? Why you are not to check? Okay. What about you, Reynaldo? What can you tell me? Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you? It's here in Zaragoza. It's not raining this day. Okay. Uh, it is cool or it is hot? Oh, so so. Okay. Zaragoza. Zaragoza. Okay. Aquí, aquí llueve bastante. Here is raining so much. Okay. Estamos entre el mar y Santa Tecla. Oh. En, me, en medio. In the middle. In the middle. In the middle, okay. Y la Matepec. Y la Matepec. Okay. What about the rest? I don't see the camera, so I'm only ask Christina. Hello, Christina. What can you tell Hello, us? Hello, teacher. Good Hi, evening. Good evening. How are you today? I am fine, teacher. And you? Well, here we are. Trying to do our best. Ready to start. Okay. okay. I'm ready for the class. Yes. 
Okay, thank you. Hi, teacher. Hello, sir. Fine. Okay. I've found today. I've been having a lot of my plate today, you know. Teacher, uh, the, the exercise yesterday, lesson 14, number two. Okay. Eso todavía no, creo que no se pudo arreglar. No lo han arreglado todavía. I a mí no the, me da. I send a report. And somebody answered me and said that they are going to fix it. But I'm going to send the message again. Vamos a enviar el mensaje de nuevo para asegurarnos de que sí lo puedan eh, modificar. Okay, only 12. We have 12. Try to remember some expression that we started yesterday because we are going to need it because uh, we are going to make a review and then you are going to have the, the opportunity to, to read the sentences that you wrote yesterday, right? Ah, pues sí, teacher, ya verifique, ya, ya se pudo, gracias. Ah, gracias. ajá. Yo iba a enviarlo de nuevo. Okay, excellent, it's done. Okay, Rafael is there. No jacket today, Rafael? It's hot? It's hot here. Ah, okay, it is hot now. <laughs> okay, no jacket. Okay. Harrison is there. I don't know what happened with the rest of cameras. I don't see on, only just off. We have 13, we are going to start now. You, I need that you put your camera on, please. I'm going to check up the attendance now because we need to talk about some topic really important today, okay? Let me see, okay. Today, Thursday, 21st, October. Uh, Ana del Carmen. Not here yet. Ana del Carmen. No. Angel Narciso. Present, teacher. Present, okay. Cristina. Present. Excellent. Uh, Giovanni. Present teacher. Okay, okay. Uh, Harrison Manuel. Present. Excellent. Jose Miguel. Not here. Uh, Juan Carlos. No. Uh, Karina. There. Present. Okay, welcome. Linda Ivet. Present teacher. Welcome. Maria Idalia. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Welcome back. Maria Julia. Present. Marlon. Present. Marvin. Present. I see. Her. Okay. Welcome. Nancy Ivet. Nancy, not here. Norma Carolina, Norma, not here. Rafael Ernesto, present teacher. Welcome, Rafael. 
Raquel Judith. Raquel Judith. No. Reinaldo Castro. Present teacher. Welcome, sir. Suleima Veronica is not here. Eh, Xiomara del Carmen. Xiomara. Xiomara. Eh, Ana Cristina Chavarria. Ana Cristina. No. Okay, let's start now. Uh, in order to start talking about the new topic, we need to make a review about the topic that we studied yesterday. And uh, I would like to hear what you have in your notes about the topic that we studied yesterday. So please, would you like to share with me what you wrote yesterday, please? Tell me. What was the topic? Do you remember the topic? You sleep on mine? No. So, Maybe my microphone is not working because I'm not receiving any answer. Okay, why don't you tell me about the topic that we studied yesterday? What do you remember about the topic that we studied yesterday? Tell me. Do you remember that I told you? Uh, the idioms. Okay, the idioms. And I remember that I told you that at the beginning of this class, you uh, we had the opportunity to read the sentences that you wrote yesterday at the end of the class. You can do it now, please. Okay, try to do it, please, try to do it. Just tell me, what do you remember? What do you remember? Word phrase. Okay, try to give me some examples about the topic that we studied yesterday, please. Okay, I need that all of you uh, to on your cameras. Remember that is part of our policies that you need to have your cameras on. Okay. 
Thank you. What about the rest? Recuerden que son parte de las, nuestras políticas que debemos de tener la cámara encendida. Eso se les explicó al inicio. Entonces les pido de favor que sigamos las reglas. Ok, I'm still waiting uh, that you tell me. What do you remember about the previous class? ¿Qué recordamos de la clase anterior? I'll try to do it now, please, because time is running. Just tell me what you, what do you remember about yesterday? Teacher, the idioms, for example, wait out uh, is very tired. Very tired, tired. Very tired, okay. Wipe out. Okay, what else? What else do we have there? Just tell me, please. Somebody else, somebody else? I got 15. The, the topic that we saw yesterday was about well, uh, phrase over, like uh, we in the paragraph that we read, uh, for example, carry out. Um, I'm looking for okay, okay, no problem. Hi. Okay, try to keep it up. 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 Keep up. Just like that. Sorry, that Okay. Um, what can I tell you? Remember that we study idioms, the part two, right? And we mentioned the words uh, wipe out, to have a lot on one's plate, to keep one's head above water, to scale back one hour, uh, shell down, hang in there, to sleep on mines. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay, give me some examples. When fix is light, teacher. Okay. Me, teacher, hanging okay. there in the traffic. Oh, okay, what else? What else? Yesterday I told you that you need to, uh, to write down some sentences using these kind of uh, idioms. For the reason I'm asking you to read today. For example, I am I had I had a long day. I'm very I'm wiped out. Okay, okay, I'm wiped out. I got it. Me teacher, I oh. slipped my mind, arrange transport, transfer. <laughs> okay, slip to mind. Okay. Somebody else? Uh, 
I have a lot of a lot of my plate. Okay. Remember that we can combine those expressions with some words. And I remember that I send you a list, a long list about idioms. You have a lot of material in order to get uh, more information about this topic, right? And remember that uh, when we are making the review, I give you the opportunity to express what you think. No problem, Giovanni. Okay, but, but try to participate because uh, then that way you are going to be sure what you are doing. Don't worry about mistakes. I, I've been telling that in my case, I mean, in my case, me gusta que participen todos. Porque uh, a medida vamos avanzando, apunta a que lo que necesitamos es que Usted sea bueno en la comunicación. For that reason, I need that you speak. And that you tell me what you think about the topic that we are studying. Okay. Somebody else want to say something? No? Okay. I'm going to continue then. If you don't want to talk. I'm going to continue. Okay, right here we have the book and there we are going to find out the activity number one and we have a question. And this question said, do you know the policies at your workplace? And what are some of them? What can you tell me about this question? Do you know the policies at your workplace? Tell me. Oh. Um, we have to respect uh or everyone and uh, we we uh should came early to to the work. Okay. Um, we don't have uh, a relationship in the company. Okay. And uh, we don't have to smoke in uh, the company. It, it is not allowed to smoke. Yeah, it so, is okay. not allowed, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else want to say something about this? Come on, I need all of you to participate because in that way you are showing me that you are trying to do your best. A medida usted participa, usted me está demostrando que quiere, que quiere, that you are willing to do everything in order to reach your goal. But I need that all of you participate. Yes, tell me, please. Somebody else? I remember when I was studying English, long time ago. Are you following me? Somebody wants to tell me what I said? Que lo que yo dije? That I remember. Tell me. 
with the lyrics in my workplace. No, no, no. Uh, I'm talking about the expression that I said. When, when... Sí, sí, ah, okay, 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 okay. Lo que yo pregunté es que si estaban como siguiéndome lo que les estaba diciendo, ¿no? When I was uh, uh, studying English a long time ago, I remember that I had to study a subject called reading and writing in English. Uh, no, 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 hold on. It's not, it is just speaking and writing in English is the name of the subject. And I remember that only in my class, there were only about five or six people that when the teacher asked to participate, they do it. And one day I understood that I had to do it too, because I said, if I never speak, I'm not going to learn how to communicate in a speaking way. Maybe I can read, I understand when the people is speaking, but I need to speak English too. And from that point, my career, I start trying to do my best and trying to speak. And suddenly, uh, I remember that at the beginning was uh, kind of difficult, but later on, I, I got familiar with, with the teacher and with my classmate. And as soon as the teacher asked a question, I raise my hand and say, okay, what I think is this and so on. And that way we can uh, develop our skills. For that reason, you need to know exactly that when we are learning a new language, in this case, talking about English, we need to develop at least the four macro skill. And speaking is one of those four. Also that we need to know how to write, how to read, and uh, to understand when somebody is saying something. But the speaking is really important because if you travel and, and you need to buy something, that means that you need to speak. Do you need to communicate? Yes. For the reason of speaking is really, really important for me. And you need to know exactly what I'm saying. For the reason I invite you to share with me what you are thinking about it, the question. When I ask you, do you know what the policy of the workplace are? What are some of them? And I need that you follow me because uh, and that way you are going to go with me. Okay. Así resumido en español. Veamos cómo está el nivel de comprensión. ¿Qué fue mi mensaje? Así rapidito. Y tenemos que aprender a hablar el inglés porque cuando vayamos a viajar y comprar algo, necesitamos saber cómo expresarnos en inglés. Ok, ¿qué más? Que al participar practicamos y que eso nos, o sea, nos va a ayudar a, a, o sea, a alcanzar la fluidez y que nos va a ser muy útil a la hora de querer comunicar algo. Sí, eso es correcto. Yeah, but we have only just these two hours every day in, from Monday to Friday to practice. Because out of the class, sometimes it's really difficult that people can uh, practice. I, I, I remember when, and even I have seen my students in the university, they speak English inside the classroom, but outside the classroom, they feel uh, kind of uh, shy. Entonces, si tenemos solo las dos horas diarias de lunes a viernes, tenemos que aprovechar el tiempo de practicar acá. Porque ya saliendo de la plataforma, eh, es difícil, nos da eh, temor, nos da pena, nos, seguimos, nos sentimos inseguros, ¿no? Entonces, this is the right place to do it. For that reason, I invite you to participate. 
Y no me voy a cansar de decirle participe, participe, participe. Al final usted va a decir, ahora sí. Ya no espero que me estén llamando dos veces. Mi punto de vista, my point of view is, what I'm thinking is, I believe that, I consider, yeah, different way how you can express your ideas. Okay, let us continue. Okay, we have a conversation here um, between Bruno and Max. Right here, there is, a, there is a mistake because this is Max and how to do, how are you, Bruno? Porque no puede Max llamarse a Max. Okay. Okay, so please pay attention. Hey, Max, looks. I want to know what policies you have in your company. Hey, how are you, Bruno? There are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superior if, if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is to use of drug. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think thought too. Okay, I'm going to read it again. You tell me if it is in the right post or not. Me dice si estamos bien con la velocidad que vamos o lo hacemos más lento o más rápido. Is up to you. Más lento, teacher, por favor. Ah, okay. Más lento, but you tell me. Slow down. Slow down, teacher. Yeah? Slow down, teacher. Louder. Hable más fuerte porque no le oímos. Louder. Could you speak louder, please? Could you repeat that, please? And that way you are going to interact with me. Okay? Teacher, excuse me. How do you pronounce this word? I don't understand. I don't have clear. How do you pronounce it? Could you tell me, please? Could you repeat, please? Todo ese vocabulario ya lo tenemos. Sí. Entonces, lo que necesitamos es tener más confianza en preguntar y self-confidence para hacer las cosas. Okay. Here we go again. No se me enoje, no, no es regaño, es, son sugerencias. ¿Sí? Alguien va a decir que esté enojado el teacher ahora. No, 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 no. Lo que estoy tratando es eh, de motivarles, pues. Ya, yeah, I'm motivating you. Because at the end, I would like to, to see you speaking and you ask me question and I answer you and you... And somebody else asked another question, and somebody else answered the question. And I, that is what I want to see. And it's going to make me happy to see that, you know, believe me. Okay, Bruno said, Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. Hey, how are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, Employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you, if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my worst is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have the policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay. Somebody want to read it? Volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay. Um, hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, 
in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you not notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at, at work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have the policies, the policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Excellent. Somebody else? Uh, me teacher. Okay, do it. Uh, hey, my, Max, look, I want to know what all these you have in your company. How are you, Max? Where? There are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a, a uniform always. Where? In my company, you shouldn't delay. If you do this, you receive a warning and should you notify your superior if you do something wrong. Yes, you should. I see another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in, in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Good. Hey, Max. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are, how are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you not notif notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you, you, you should. I see another policy we have at me world is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We all have that policy in my world too. Should, you shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay. I think so too. Excellent. Somebody else? Me. Okay, do it. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And you, you notify your superiors if you do something wrong, Yes, you should. I see. Another politi politics we have at my work is the use of drug. Nobody should draw the drug. We all have that politics in my world too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, uh, before we continue, I would like to tell you that we need to be careful about how to pronounce the word policy. Don't confuse with politic. It's policy. Policies. Okay, not politic. Policy. Okay. I'm going to read it the last time. And then we are going to work uh, with somebody else in a breakout room. But remember, when we are reading or when we are speaking, we have to do it in, in a natural way, you know? 
Try to relax. Try to be confident. And that way you are going to sound better. And don't forget to uh, put uh, some uh, emphasis, you know. And that, then uh, intonation and pronunciation of sentences and questions and so on is really important. Okay, say, hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. Hey, how are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my words is that use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have the policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, everything is clear? The city to question? Sí, sol. Yeah. Sí, tal vez la, la, la parte que quizás en español se lo voy a decir. Es la que dice usted, ¿verdad? Porque a veces uno trata de ir un poco más rápido y es donde se le traba la lengua. Sí, Quizás va, okay. esa es la parte. Sí, sí, ok. Eh, en eso quiero que cuando sientan que estoy yendo así como muy rápido, me avisen. ¿Sí? Aunque eh, en las instrucciones tengo que leerlo despacio y también rápido para que su oído se vaya acostumbrando. ¿Sí? No, yo digo en el caso de nosotros, quizás ah, por eso okay. es que a veces... Ok, ustedes lo que deben de hacer es eh, agarrar la velocidad que, que ustedes manejen. Esto es como cuando agarramos un carro al inicio y, y no pasamos de, de segunda y nos andamos ahí y luego en el siguiente nivel llegamos a tercera, eh, a punto de que llegará un momento que el carro le va a pedir una velocidad más y ya no tiene. Usted va a decir hoy sí. ¿Ok? Ok. ¿No question? No question. No, I try. Ok, excellent. Let's go okay. and work together. Let's do it now, please. Let me see how many people do we have. We have 19. Wow. Vamos a tener un equipo de tres. Y los demás serán de dos. Ok, let me see. Ok. Here we go. But try to practice. Try to practice, please. The rule number one is going to be like uh, with uh, Angel, Julia, and Raquel. And the rest are just two. Okay, let's do it now, please, and try to do it naturally, okay? And relax. Here we go. Try to practice, please. Okay, we need to wait until they finish the conversation and later on they are going to do it in front of the class. 
Sulaima, Sulaima. Hello, Sulaima. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Hi, aquí mire, de oyente, hablé con el licenciado Jimmy. Ah, ok. Y entonces él me dijo que me conectara, ¿verdad? Solo para concluir el, el módulo, pero este, este, ¿cómo se llama? Voy a estar de oyente y como ya eh, en unos 12 días me van a operar, entonces no entraría el siguiente módulo hasta regresar de la recuperación. Ok, uh -huh. excelente. Pero él me dijo de que igual que me conectara, ¿verdad? Porque ya había pasado más tiempo. O sea, ya solo faltan como siete días. Yes. Y, y entonces me dijo el que, que oyente esté, pero que esté, que esté activa. Porque la cuestión es el INSAFOR, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá, entonces. Sí, al, al momento que ellos hacen, a, ellos verifican, auditan. Entonces es necesario. Al menos eh, usted está... Ahí, cuando se le llame, pues luego lo dice present. Sí, ahí le contesté present, porque oh. me conecté de temprano. Excelente. Porque le dije, le dije yo que iba a estar de oyente. Estoy escuchando lo que usted está viendo y estoy en la plataforma este, agarrándole el hilo, porque sí he estado tres días de incapacidad, sí, que no me he podido levantar. Y ahorita estoy aquí sentada, este, viéndolo, queriéndome poner al día, pero sí... Si no, le participo porque siento que ya van más adelante. Ah, ok, ok. Thank you. Try to do what you can do, ok. No problem at all. Ok, welcome back. I would like to see you um, playing uh, the conversation, please. Volunteers. I don't want to be calling by name. Me and Linda, teacher. Ok, We Maria Hidalgo. You first? First, yes. <laughs> Me? Okay, do, do it, I'm do sorry. It. <laughs> hey, man. Look, I want to know what policy you have in your company. How How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. <clears throat> I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. Continue. In the world, have the policy in my work to different. Okay. I I think so too. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Let's continue. Let's continue now, please. Narciso. Hello, Narciso. I'm ready. I'm ready. Narciso, hey, Narciso. Okay. I'm ready, I'm ready, Julie. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees shall wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody shall do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, thank you, Yuli. Okay. Bye. Hey, excellent, excellent. I like, I like that. That is the way that I like my class. That all of you participate. 
Okay, somebody else do it, please. JC, vamos, JC. Okay. Hey, Max, look, I want to know that policy you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees to wear a uniform always. Why? In my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And, and to you notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You children do it. I think so too. Okay. Uh, me teacher con Ana del Carmen. Okay. Ready. Okay. Empiezo. Hey Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't believe if you do is you receive a warning? And should you noti notify your superi superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have the policies in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I see I think so too. Thank you, teacher. Okay, I'm going to help you with this word in order that you get a, a better sound. I got it here. This is the pr pronunciation of this word. You can pronounce it in this word. Para que no se parezca a política. Try to say in this way. Policy, policy, repeat, policy. Policy. No, 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 policy. Policy. It's a, it's a long A, policy. Policy. Okay, try to read it, policy. Policy. No, 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 Policy. Palusi. Ahora junto. Palusi. 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 Ok. Para que no se oiga a, a, a politic. Politic, no. It's policy. Policy. Ok. It's better in this way. Okay, uh, the, uh, the next couple, I need that you use your own information. Necesito que los siguientes ya usen sus propias informaciones, porque I know that you have Max and Max here, pero no pueden llamarse Max los dos. Y en mi caso serían tres. Somos tres Max. Okay. Try to use your own information, please. Do it now. Go ahead. Who's next? Who's next? Reinaldo. Oh, uh, really? Okay. Reynaldo. Hey. Hey, Max. Look. Hey, hey, I want... Okay, hold on, hold on. You are going to say, hey, Reinaldo. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, Reinaldo. Look, I want to know what police say. You have in your company? How are you, Christina? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, 
In my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work in the use of draw. Nobody should to draw. We all have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I did so too. Okay. Thank you. Do you remember the way that you pronounce the word policy? Policy. <laughs> policy. <laughs> you put in a no and, and you have to put an A. Okay. That That is, a, uh, we need to take into account. At the moment that we are going to produce the sound, uh, we need to keep in mind how it is the sound. For that reason, I invite you to repeat at least 15 times. When you want to learn a new word, you, you have to repeat at least 14 times in the right way. And that way is going to be record in your, your brain. ¿Comprendieron? Cuando necesitamos o aprendemos un sonido nuevo, una pronunciación, repítala al menos 15 veces en voz alta y eso va a hacer que se grabe más rápido. But, but we need to be really, really careful. Ok, the last couple, please. La última pareja porque ya vamos a cambiar de actividad. Hay algunos que no los veo participando. I don't know why. Mi teacher, con Giovanni. Ok, Marvin. Giovanni está por ahí. Yes, Giovanni, yes. Giovanni, Giovanni, Giovanni. Yes. Ok. Ok. Do it. Hey, uh, hey, Giovanni, look, I want to come out what policy you have in your company. How are you, Marvin? Well, there are many policy, policy in my company. For example, employees should wear a, a uniform always. Well, in my company, you should be late if is to do this, you receive, 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 receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Uh, yes, you show. I see. Another policy, policy we have uh, at me work is the use of drug. No, nobody should do drug. We, we also have that policy in my world. Do you shall do, do it? I think so. Okay, I'm going to read the last sign in order that you get familiar with some sounds. And I'm going to do it in a slowly way. Se lo voy a leer una vez más, lo voy a hacer despacio para que se graben algunos sonidos. Because I want you learn in the right way, okay? You learn. Yes. Hey, Max, look. I want to know what policy you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should, not should, should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. 
And should you notify your superior if you do something? Let me move a little bit this. Oops. Okay, yes, we should, I see. Another policy we have at my work is that use of drug. Nobody should do drugs. We also had that policy in my words too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, it's in sign and slowly wait. But at the moment that we are uh, talking with somebody else, al momento que ya estoy hablando con alguien más, let me move the, the pronunciation. Let, let me put, drop it before to, to explain this. A la hora que yo ya estoy uh, hablando con alguien, porque ahorita lo que estoy haciendo es leyendo, entonces ahí ya I need to make a switch, a little switch. Voy a hacer como un poco de cambio in the way that I'm going to pronounce some expression. For example, in this case, said, hey, hey, Max, looks, I want to know what policies you have in your company. Hey, how are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my words is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also had that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay. Question? Any question? No? Teacher. Hola. Eh, la pronuncia, pronunciación notifies. Notify. Notify, okay. Oh, notify. notify. If you want to say notify, it is right. But in okay. my case, in my case, I used to say it in that way. But suddenly I had to move to another country and I and I learned it to, to pronounce it in that way. The letter T like R. Generalmente en algunos lugares, en algunos estados, la T se pronuncia en R. Entonces, en mi caso, por eso es que algunas las hago así como más cortas. ¿Ya? Pero ambos son correctos. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let me check up the attendance, please. Vamos a revisar la asistencia. Esperemos que todos estén ahí. Let me see, let me see, please. Okay. Where is it? I, I'm here, I'm here. Ana del Carmen? Present teacher. Okay. Angel. Present teacher. Eh, Cristina. Present teacher. Giovanni. Present teacher. Person. Present. Jose Miguel. Jose Miguel. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Eh, eh, So Miguel is not here, and Juan Carlos is here. Okay, uh, Karina. Present. Linda. Present, teacher. Maria. Idalia. I'm here, teacher. Maria Julia. Present, teacher. Eh, Marlene. Present. Nancy. Present, teacher. Eh, Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. 
Rafael Ernesto. Present. Raquel Judith. Present. Ok. Eh, Present, teacher. Okay, Present, teacher. Ok, Sulaima. Present, teacher. There, is there. It's ok, thank you. Xiomara El Carmen. Xiomara. I saw Xiomara, I guess. And uh, Ana, not, teacher. Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Your name, please. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Your name? Marvin Mendes. Let me see. Ah, Marvin. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, going back again, uh, let us talk about, before to study the vocabulary that we have uh, inside the conversation, I would like to talk about a little bit about what is a, a policy? What do you have in mind when we talk about policy? What is that? What can you tell me? ¿Qué me puede decir de eso? ¿Qué son las policy? Like a rule? Like a rule inside a company? Okay, excellent. Okay, and where, I have something here. What is a word for policy? Policy. A policy is an statement which underpins how human resource management issue will be deal with in an organization. It communicates an organization values and the organization expectation of employee behavior and performance. That means a, it's a, a statement which underpin how human resource managed issues will be deal with in organization. That is the concept. Ese es como el concepto de lo que es eh, a policy. ¿Se, ¿Se comprende el concepto de lo que es un, eso? Yes. Veamos, veamos qué nos dice Nancy Gibet. Richard, puede volver a ponerle es que fui al baño. Les <risa> <risa> apagué la cámara. Ah, ok, ok. Que conste que no, no, no sabía que se había levantado. Hey, I'm sorry. No lo hice a, a breve. Okay, somebody else is going to help you. Okay, what is a, a policy? I need that you have a clear concept about this. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es eso? Lo digo así para que partamos desde español para luego llegar a... But if, if you understand, if you can explain in English uh, what I'm asking you, just do it in English. You don't need to say in Spanish. But sometimes I'm not in Spanish because in that way, I think that we can help to another student that they maybe uh, don't have a clear idea. They don't have the clear idea. He or she doesn't have a clear idea. Okay. Tell me. Tell me, please. Norma establecida. Ah, oiga, 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 oiga. Habla él de normas. Pero en realidad ya vamos a ver si, si realmente son normas o qué son. Sí. Tell me. What else? No sé cómo normas políticas. Políticas ah. establecidas por recursos humanos. Mm -hmm. Por ahí mencionó ya que son policy. What is policy? 
son como las políticas que tiene nuestra empresa. ¿Sí? Every company has uh, different policies. Can you mention uh, some in your companies? ¿Puede? ¿Quiere mencionar alguna de su compañía? No. Okay. Um, we have type of work policies. Policies, you know. For example, here are some examples of common workplace uh, policies that could assist your workplace, like code of conduct. This means that the way that, that how you are going to behave inside the company. Yes, and when we talk about code of conduct, it is like imply that uh, the way how you are going to have any relationship with somebody else. And for example, in, on, in some uh, companies, it is not allowed that the husband and the wife work in the same place. Existen algunas empresas donde no puede trabajar el esposo y la esposa es parte de las políticas de esas empresas. But also we can talk about recruit, a recruitment policy. The way that they are going to look for new people to get in the company. Also the way that they, you are going to use internet and email policy. Yes. For example, in email, if you are going to send an email, you are not going to put emojis and all those kind of uh, picture we can say. And also about mobile phone, in some places, uh, you are not allowed to use it. And a non-smoking policy, you know? What can you tell me about this policy that we have here? ¿Qué me pueden decir? About the yellow one. Who wants to talk about the yellow one? Hello. Código de conducta, ¿significa oh. eso, teacher? Yes, yes, yes. What can you tell me about that? There is something related in your company that had to do with the cut of conduct. Hello. Are you there? Como los Como los valores. Ah, values. It's, it's about the behavior that we, we have. Okay, the way how you are going to behave. Okay, excellent. What else? What else you can tell me? Let me see your faces here. Okay. Okay, what else you can tell me about this? ¿Qué más me pueden decir de eso? I know that you have uh, some ideas. Okay, sometimes uh, workplace uh, policies often bring forward and clarify the standard operating procedure in a workplace. And remember that a, a policy is a, a statement or purpose if one of more uh, broad guidelines that we need to follow. What else? What else? What else? For example, um, other uh, policy, uh, podría ser, uh, it's called be not to, to hire minor. Minor, okay. Okay, excellent. 
Okay, we have a uh, here a list of some policies. Policies are like a drug and alcohol, health and safety, anti discrimination and harassment policy, grievance handling uh, policy, discipline and termination, and using social media also. And we can have a, a policy checklist like a workplace policy should set out the aim of the policy, explain why the, the policy was developed, list who the policy applies to. Hay que poner un listado de a quién le va a aplicar esa política, set out what is acceptable or unacceptable behavior. Cuáles son las conductas aceptables y no aceptables. Set out the consequences of not complying with the policy and provide data when the policy was developed or updated. These are, these are really important that we need to take into account when we talk about this. Okay, and now let me see the time that we have. Okay, here we go. How do you should? We already talked about this, but today we are going to reinforce this topic. And we are going to say that uh, we are going to use the model where it should for a strong advice and recommendation. The structure is the subject, class should, class bear, class complement. This is the structure that we are going to follow. We have affirmative statements. In this case, for example, you should wear a helmet inside the factory. And also we have, you should be on time every day. But when we talk about negative statements, we said employees shouldn't smoke in the facilities. An example is we should not forget to wear the uniform. I don't know if you have any question how you are going to create uh, sentences in affirmative and, and negative. Take a look and tell me and ask me question if you have question. Okay, somebody wants to read the examples? Alguien quiere leer los ejemplos? Mid teacher. Ah. You should Craig wear. Not, okay, continue. You should wear a helmet inside the factory. Continue. Employees showing smoke in the facilities. He should be on time every day. We should not forget to wear the uniform. Okay, try to remember that we are going to use should for strong advice and recommendation. Strong advice and recommendation. Keep in mind, please. And I have uh, some kind of explanation here, like uh, we use should and shouldn't to give advice or to talk about what we think it is right or wrong. And I have an example here that says, you should mean something like, I think it is a good idea for you to do this. Or you shouldn't mean something like, I think it is a bad idea for you to do it. What, 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 what is the meaning? What do you understand about these two examples that I have here? ¿Qué comprende de esos dos ejemplos? When I use you should, significa algo como, por ejemplo, decir, uh, yo pienso que es una buena idea que tú hagas esto. 
¿sí? Estamos dando una sugerencia. And when you say you shouldn't, significa algo como, yo pienso que es mala idea para ti hacer esto, ¿sí? Should is used to express the opinion of a speaker and often follow I think or I don't think. Algunas veces están seguidos de I think or I don't think. Okay. Question? No? Oh, se me durmieron. We have some example here. Who wants to read it? Only one, please. Me. You okay. look good. I think you should take a few days off. Repeat this word, please. This word. Tired. You look tired. 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 Okay, tired. 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 Okay, much better. Okay, somebody else? Alice? Alice works very long hours. She should, she should to talk to her boss. Okay. Somebody else, the next one, please. I have. I have. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Continue, please. I have um, an English test, test tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I shouldn't worry if I were you. You have worked really, really, yeah, really, really. Really, really, really hard. Really, really hard. Really hard. Okay. Okay. I have an English test tomorrow. You shouldn't worry if I were you. Yo no me preocuparía si fuera tú. Has trabajado muy duro. I never have enough money. I don't think you should go out so much. What is the meaning of this two expression? I never had enough money. I don't think you should go out so much. Okay. What else? Let me see what you are doing. Uh -huh. I got you, I got you. Okay, let us practice. Let me see the time that we have. Check out my... Okay, okay, okay. We have enough time. Talking about this, let me open another file here. Continue talking about this because I need that you have a clear idea how you are going to use should. Okay, I got it here. We are going to practice, okay? I need that you that you see uh, what I have here. What is the meaning of this? Can we say? Practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning?
What is the meaning of that? En español y a colores, ¿qué dice ahí? Practicando ser perfecto. No, la práctica oh. hace la, per la perfección. Bueno, te hace perfecto. Mm, la práctica te hace perfecto. Ok, o como usted lo quiera decir. Pero mire lo que dice aquí, ve. La primera palabra. Practique. Que practique, practique. Y practique. Y no me voy a cansar de decirlo. Que practique. And what we are going to do now, please. Y eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita mismo, ¿ok? Pero necesito que todos participen. All of you. O lo vamos a hacer democráticamente. I guess it's going to be better if you practice. Okay, here we go. What's the matter? Feeling ill? It is a question. Do you understand the question? Yes? Yes. Okay, let us do it. Okay. What's the matter? We have two options. Who wants to who wants to say something about that based on the picture that you have? Tell me. What's the matter? She has got a back pain. Ah, okay. Her back hurts, okay. She has a back ache, okay. She has a back ache. Her back hurts. Hers. She live heavy sins. What we are going to use it here? She should or she shouldn't live heavy sins. She shouldn't live heavy. Ah, she shouldn't live heavy, heavy, heavy sins. Si ella tiene problema de espalda, ella no debería levantar cosas pesadas. Bueno, ya les hice el primero. Ahora les toca a ustedes. It's a back end. You see? Back end. Okay, here we go. What happened here? Somebody, somebody, somebody. I need a volunteer who wants to do it. Alguien que lo haga, por favor. Okay, read, read, read the, the question and Good then idea. the statements, please. Yes, she has got a. No, no me han comprendido la instrucción. El que va a participar me va a leer la pregunta. Luego va a leer el statement completándolo con la palabra que tenemos arriba de la imagen. Sí. Y luego la misma palabra eh, sin, la, sin, sin la terminación H es la que vamos a usar en el espacio y luego hacemos la sugerencia. ¿Ok? Mi teacher. Do it now, please. Hello. Do it. What's the matter? She has got a uh, two heads. Uh, her tooth hurts. She should 
go to the dentist. She should go to the dentist. Okay. What about this one? Another volunteer, please. Otro voluntario, por favor. Uh, what's wrong? He has a ear heck. He has a got he has got a ear heck. His ear hurt. He should he should go to the doctor. He shouldn't go to work. Okay, miremos la palabra. Earache. Earache. What's wrong? He has got an, an earache. And right here we are going to switch the, the article. He has got an earache, okay? His ear hurts. He should go to the doctor. He shouldn't go to work. Okay. What about this? Good, please. ¿Cómo se dice cabeza? Head. Head edge. Head edge. What's the problem? She has got a hurt. He heard hurt. She should take a high class. She shouldn't sit too close to the TV. Let me see the words. Headache, okay, what's the problem? She has got a hurry. Her head hurts. Su cabeza le duele. She should take a painkiller. She shouldn't sit so close to the TV. She should. should shouldn't. Should. Okay, somebody else, somebody else, please. What about this? What's the mirror? Okay. What's the matter? She has got a stomach. Ah, she has got a stomach. Stomach, right? Hair. Her what? Her stomach hurts. Okay. What about the next two sentences? She shouldn't eat some hot sweets. She should eat healthy food. She should eat healthy food. Healthy food. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Stomach, okay, okay. What about this one? Do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm gonna. What's wrong? I'm going to put the word maybe. Okay, you have it there. She has got a got flu, a cold. She has got flu. She, she should stay home in bed. She? she should she should stay in bed. Stay in bed. She should check the hair temperature temperature. 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 
And the last she one? She shouldn't go outside. She? She shouldn't go outside. She shouldn't go outside, okay? What's wrong, Chihaga? Flu. She should stay in bed. She should check her temperature. She shouldn't go outside. And also could be a cold. What about this one? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? According to the picture, what's the matter? Uh, what's the matter? She has got a cold. Cough. Cough. Okay, continue. She should take a syrup. 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 She's, she should go to the doctor. Okay. Next, we have next, this is called, okay. What about this one? Imagine, 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 please. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Uh, she really knows. Okay, could be. Uh, she shouldn't go to school today. Okay. Uh, she should stay in bed. Mm -hmm. 12, 6. 12, 6. Yeah. What about this? What's the matter? What's the matter? He has got a sore throat. A sore throat. He? He should take some medicine. He shouldn't drink cold drinks. Okay, thank you. What about this one? What's the problem? He is thirsty. He, he should yeah. drink some water. Okay. What about this? What's the matter? He is bored. What's the matter? He's bored. Do you see this bird? Okay, continue. He should go and see one of his friends. And okay. He should help with the homework. Okay, it's for excellent. And this is gonna be the last one. What's the run? She is sleep. Sleepy. Sleepy. Continue, please, continue, please. She should shouldn't stay up so late and she should go to the bed early. She go to bed early. She's tired. She's tired. Yeah. Say it. Tired. 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 
What's the matter? What's the problem here? She's cold. Okay. Continue, please. She should put a jumper on. She shouldn't open the window. Okay, I'm going to start sharing. Fíjense que me tomé el tiempo de estar haciendo oraciones para que todos participen, pero si ustedes se dan cuenta, algunos todavía están así como le hago, no le hago. Easy sentences. He puesto oraciones fáciles. Let me see the time that we have now. Okay, I have another one, but it's going to be in a hurry. Lo vamos a hacer rapidito por el tiempo. Pero les voy a pedir de favor que participen a diferentes personas. El objetivo es que todos tengan el chance, la oportunidad de participar. Ok. Here we go. Here we go. The truth machine, okay. We have true and we have false. And according to, uh, you are going to click on the right option to complete the sentence. If you say should or you say shouldn't, okay? Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, if you say right here, okay. Okay, what about that? Just tell me. He is too Children. fat. Children. Children. Children eat too much junk food. He shouldn't. He shouldn't eat some much junk food. Okay, let me see. Let me see if you got the point. Veamos a ver si le sale el punto. Okay. Alguien que vaya leyendo así rapidito. It's sunny and hot today. Okay, this or this? Sure. Next one, please. It's a great film. Continue, continue. You, you should go and see it. Another person, please. Eat for it today. Shouldn't. You shouldn't. Shouldn't. You shouldn't write too fast. You shouldn't write for it today. Shouldn't. You have an exam tomorrow morning. You shouldn't go to the party tonight. You shouldn't. Sure. 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 Okay, hold on there. I'm going to say a name. Voy a decir un nombre. Voy a decir un nombre. The person that is going to solve this one. Let me see who is going to be. Anna. Anna del Carmen. Anna del Carmen. Cristina. <laughs> okay, Anna, the first one of the list. La primera en la lista. Eh, she has a terrible headache. She should take some aspirin. She should take some aspirin. <laughs> okay, tell me another name. Uh, dime otro nombre, Ana, de, tus, de sus compañeros. Marlene. Marlene, okay. Marlene, Marlene, this is your turn, Marlene. Marlene. 
My eyes are tired. I shouldn't spend much time in front of the computer. Should or shouldn't? Shouldn't. Okay, give me another name. Harrison. Harrison, your turn, Harrison. Your mom is really busy. You chill her heart with the housework. Chill. Your mom is really busy. You yeah, should she's oh, okay. Housework. Okay, give me another name, please. Rafael. Rafael. Rafael, Rafael. You are in the ready. You shouldn't talk so loud. You are in the library. You shouldn't talk so loud. And the last one, Rafael. Sonia. Sonia. Do we have any Sonia in the group? Next teacher. Tenemos Sonia en el grupo? Okay, Miguel. No, teacher. No, tenemos Sonia. Ivet, por ahí tenemos a Ivet. Ivet, Ivet is here, is there. Eh, soy yo, vea. <laughs> es Nancy. Nancy. Nancy, Nancy. Ivet. <laughs> okay. Hey, Nancy. Ah, oh, okay. Let me come. Eh, it's too cold here. She should wear winter clothes. Clothes. Okay, thank you. No quisieron jugar algunos, mira. No quisieron. I don't know why. Okay, let us continue, please. Okay, we are going to solve this exercise based on the last page that we have here. Here we go. Okay, how we are going to use should, we already talked about this. Um, you are going to write down, uh, you should to write sentences about the, the, the policies in your workplace using the words in phrases. For example, my schedule, my dress code, attend training, Sleep in work hours. Okay, you are going to write down four sentences based on this. And you are going to use should or should. It. Okay. Ahí está la instrucción. Escriba cuatro oraciones usando should or shouldn't y tomando en cuenta lo que está en paréntesis. You got four minutes to do it. I'm sorry, I'm going to stop chilling. Try to solve it, please. And I'm going to, in this, in this time, I'm going to mention your names. Y en esta vez voy a mencionar los nombres porque hay algunos que no quieren hablar. Entonces, yo quiero oírles. Serán los que no tienen cámara encendida, quizá. Uh -huh. Ok, I'm choosing my victim now. And also, I need to see.
Let me see the name of the person that is going to be end of the class. Ah, it's going to be you, Rafael Ernesto Hernandez Sandoval. And tomorrow is going to be Raquel Judith Vasquez de Cordoba. Y nos queda para la otra semana, on Monday is going to be Reynaldo. On Tuesday is going to be Suleyma. And the last day of the class is going to be Xiomara del Carmen Castro de Gomez. Rafael, are you there? Yes. Yes. No, no, tengo día. Excuse me? No tengo día. Let me see your name here. Cristina. Ana Cristina. Ah, oh, Cristina. Okay. Okay, Cristina. I'm going to, let me see. Well, I'm going to check up and I'm going to tell you later on, okay? Only four, only four, no more than four, okay? Only four sentences. Somebody finish? Okay, let us see what you have. Veamos. Who wants to read it? Who wants to start reading? Hello.
Karina, you want to start reading? Um, I should uh, follow my schedule. Okay. All the all the sentence. Yeah, do it. Okay. I should respect the dress code. I should attend to all the trainings. I shouldn't sleep in work hours. Okay, excellent. Somebody else want to do it? Somebody else, somebody else, please. Cristina. Cristina, Stephanie, una Cristina. Cristina, Stephanie, Martínez. Okay. Sí, porque uh -huh. ahora ya, ya veo que hay varias de así con nombres iguales. Y entonces dicen, no, no es a mí, es a usted. <risa> He shouldn't meet in my special. She should use the dress code. We should attend training. You shouldn't sleep in work hours. Okay, thank you. Uh, give me a name, please. Of your classmate. Christina. Mm -hmm. yeah, give me a give me a name of your classmate. Um, okay. okay. Um, Juan Carlos. Carlos. Okay. Uh, number one, I should respect my schedule at work. My schedule? Schedule? Schedule at work. Uh, number two, I should always wear the dress code. Uh, number three, we should attend the trainings. In number Four, I shouldn't sleep during work hours. Okay, and the last name? Give me a name. Give me another name, please. Uh, okay. uh, Don Narciso. Okay. Number one, I should complete my to do. I should, uh, well, I should, uh, I should my destroy. Number three, I should attend training. Number four, I shouldn't be sleeping in work hours. Okay. Okay, thank you. The rest is going to be for the beginning of the class tomorrow in the review, okay? Lo dejo okay. pendiente a, a los demás para la, pero no, no vayan a creer que se me olvida. Pero así lo vamos a hacer para que no se, eh, no se me duerma. Okay, my, let me check out the, the attendance, please. Where's the attendance is here? Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, remember that we are close to finish this module. We have only a Friday and three days of the next week and we are going to finish. And I invite you to read the, the books, the material, the classes, the watch the videos, and that way you are going to increase your knowledge. Okay, uh, Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ahora hay que especificar, Ángel. Present teacher. Solo hay, solo hay uno, Cristina Estefan. Present teacher. Giovanni. Present teacher. Herson. Present. José Miguel. Mencionó teacher. José Miguel. 
Jose Miguel is there? Harrison, I said. Giovanni, I said. A mí me pareció que sí vi a José Miguel conectado un rato. It's not here now, okay? Juan Carlos? Present. Eh, Karina? Present. Linda? Present. María Idalia? Present, teacher. María Julia? Present. Eh, Marlen? Present. Marvin? Present. Nancy? Present, teacher. Norma? Present, teacher. Rafael? Present, teacher. Raquel? Present, teacher. Reinaldo? Present, teacher. Eh, Suleima? Xiomara del Carmen? Present, teacher. Ahí está Xiomara, ahí ustedes dicen que no estaba. Ana Cristina? Present teacher. Is there, Ana Cristina is there too, okay. Thank you very much. I hope that you enjoy the class. I try to give you some exercises in order that you practice. And I continue by you to practice. No me voy a cansar de invitarlos a que practique, practique, participe, participe. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Only bye, teacher. Good night. Where is Rafael? Rafael, Rafael. Ah, is there. Rafael Ernesto is there. Okay. JC, Juan Carlos. Bye bye, Giovanni. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Okay. Um, Rafael Ernesto Hernández. I'm here, teacher. Okay, uh, I don't know if you have any question about any topic that we have started. Um, I have a question about the use and the covering the idioms. Okay, idioms. Okay, what is the problem that you have with idioms? I understand a little. Um, uh, it's the first time that you hit it. Yes. Okay. The, the one thing that you need to keep in mind is that the meaning of the idioms is not the real uh, meaning when you translate into Spanish word by word. Los idioms funcionan de la siguiente forma. El significado que tienen los idioms no es el significado que obtenemos al traducirlos literalmente, sino que tienen un significado extra. Por ejemplo, dice usted, Today uh, I was under the weather. ¿Qué significaría eso? Es como sentir la moral baja. Sentirse mal. Mal. Okay. And, and that way you have a different kind of idioms. Los significados de los idioms nunca van a ser la traducción literal. ¿Sí? Sí. Es como la otra que dice, I, I don't feel very well today. ¿Y cuál es el idioma ahí? Que no, se siente, no me siento bien ahora, hoy. Ya, yeah, pero, pero en ese caso no está usando ningún idioma. Mm. Pero este sería como, como digamos el sinónimo, digo yo que casi lo mismo, que no se siente, que siente, no se siente bien o, o enfermo, sick. 
Yes, I, I, I got your point. Sí, entiendo su punto, pero... Uh, let me show you something here. Imagine we, we said, uh, I don't have money in my pockets. I feel like my head, my head. Uh, do you remember the, the, the one that I mentioned under the water? Under the water? Yes. No. What about hit the sock? A uh, sick uh, duck. Sick as a duck. Que no sentirse bien, sentirse enfermo. Yes. Okay, but well, let, let me show you something. Yeah. I'm going to show you something here now that you remember what we have started. When we started this topic, uh, we mentioned some uh, uh, idioms like the one that I'm showing here. This uh, word is preferred when we started. For example, my stomach is killing me. Uh, as sick as a dog is to be very sick. Take it easy, me and relax. Instead of you say, relax, you can say, take it easy. And when I say to be under the weather, to be under the weather means that I'm not feeling well. Yes? Yes. And also we mentioned to call in six. When you are sick and you don't want to go to work, you use the expression. And remember that we started wipeout to keep one head over the water by surprise, to keep one head of above the water, no under, above the water. But... He said, right. if you, okay. Uh, if you, it's, uh, for example, if you want to be free in the life, to keep one to hear about water supply. For example. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, okay, entonces, eso es lo que sucede con los idioms. Sí, teacher. Yeah, bueno, primera vez que escucho esto y así. Sí, en comprendo. Comprendo, porque eh, les, mm, les cuesta familiarizarse porque el significado no es la traducción. Ah. ¿Sí? Sí, eso estaba viendo por la... Si imagínense, sleep one's mind. It's like be forgotten. ¿Y what is... What does it mean in Spanish? Eso es... Uh... Como quien dice, se me olvidó. Uh, sleep. Nada sí. que ver. Sleep, one mind. La, la definición es to be focal. Usted le dice, I'm sorry, I didn't come to your party. It sleep my mind. O si se encuentra con alguien, le dice, hey, ¿cómo, cómo te llamas? Hey, what's your name? Mm -hmm. I sleep my mind. Como quien dice, se me olvidó. Entonces, es, esos son lo, los, los idioms. Hay muchísimos. Y claro, no se aprenden de la noche a la mañana. Vamos a ir así como step by step. ¿Ya? Ok, teacher. Sí, sí. Another question that you have? Ah, y por cierto, le envié una lista de idioms en, ahí en el grupo. Ahí okay. puede. Lo vamos a chequear porque hoy he estado con una carga laboral. No lo hemos tenido mucho tiempo de chequear. Pero okay. ahí vamos. Ok, excelente. 
Uh, teacher, one other question more. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, issues. 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 Yes. The meaning? Yes. Okay, in, in our job, suddenly we have some issues. In nuestro trabajo, siempre tenemos issues. It's like a problems. Los issues son como problemas. Uh, ¿Sí? Issues. Problemas. Dificultades. Ah. ¿Ya? Ok. Only that teacher. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Okay, good night.